about you all? Are you happy? Are you more and more encouraged that you can do more confidently the work of the Lord? Who is doing the work of the Lord? Ah. So what are we to do? What are we to do? We say, oh Lord, I am a, I am a pencil in your hand. You know, now imagine this is one of us, you and me. We are in the hands of God. Look at this. We are, where are we? We are in the hands of God. We are in the heart of God. God is empowering us. God is leading us. God is guiding us. But yet, we have still weaknesses and failures. Now, because of our weaknesses, failures, we have fallen. Okay, we have fallen. Oh, I am fallen. But where are we now? In the fallen state, where are we? We still are in the hands of God. <laughs> Even we are fallen with our weaknesses and failures, we are in the hands of God. Now what the Lord will do? No, you are good for nothing. Go away. Will he say that? No. He says, oh, my darling, I love you, especially when you are weak. So I will make you more strong. Do you agree with this? Do you agree with this? Yes. Now, I already said, Pope Francis has written an apostolic letter on confidence. Confidence. You must all read it. That is the most latest apostolic letter of Pope Francis, particularly leading us to evangelization, spirituality according to St. Therese. Now there is another apostolic letter is coming, namely hope, hope. So you wait for it. All these Pope Francis speak about in evangelization, in his passion of evangelization. One side, we know the, yes, Father? Yeah. Somebody help him? Okay. We are now focusing one side, the, the tools for evangelization, that we are going to handle it. Another side, the type of confidence, the type of mercy. What is the good news? What means the good news? In Catechism 1,846, 1,846, 1,846 speak about sin, 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 article about sin. But the first sentence is mercy and sin. 1846 says, the gospel is the revelation of Jesus Christ of God's mercy to sinners. Can you repeat this? The gospel, everybody, the gospel is the revelation in Jesus Christ of God's mercy to sinners. Yeah. 
mercy there are corporal act of mercy we are doing lot of charitable work we are giving poor people food cloth and shelter that is also mercy but evangelical mercy is god's love and compassion towards sinners if this we don't have we cannot evangelize we cannot evangelize in olden days <laughs> when i was a boy my parish priest pre vatican pre vatican time the parish priest used to sit in the confessional with a cane with a cane <laughs> we were so much afraid to confess and because then we we are looking when he is taking the cane or not and when we say the sin how many times i told you not to do this and you have done it again one now sometimes he come out of the confessional in front of all the people he lift up our trouser and give chuck oh you should not do it again okay yes 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 then again after two weeks we are again coming <laughs> with the same thing so that is not the situation that is not the right way of mercy so for francis in the in the year of the mercy see i wanted to speak on charism but see now the holy spirit is pushing me to say something about mercy so let us be guided by the holy spirit because all these charisms we may have that is what saint paul says you may have all these charisms but without love without love you are you are nothing that is what again saint teresa's biography saint teresa says i don't need all these charisms because saint paul says all these charisms you may have but without love you are nothing therefore lord i want to be love i want only to be loved and love so saint paul's three chapters first corinthians 12 13 14 these three chapters are on charisms in 12 he speak on charisms in 14 also he speak on charism so people say this is like a sandwich two pieces of bread chapter 12 and 14 and in between chapter 13 that is butter and jam <laughs> marmalade that is called sandwich chapters two slices of bread 12 and 14 but 13 without 13 this bread you cannot eat that is butter and jam so he says you may have all these charisms but without love you are a noisy gong and a clashing cymbal you may have gift of faith even to move the mountain but without love you are nothing you may give everything even all the wealth but without love you are nothing okay now pope francis is teaching on <laughs> mercy i want to share one simple point he said jesus came in the house of matthew matthew chapter 9 did he looked anything about his sinfulness all people are telling he is a sinner a tax collector don't even enter into his house 
such a situation jesus entered into his house he eat with him and all are blaming how your master is going and eat with a sinner and jesus comes out and say i have come not for the righteous but for the sinners you go and learn what is the meaning of this scripture that i want mercy not sacrifice that is that is a scripture which <laughs> it's amazing exactly i got that word here of course there was a marker here but there are so many markers but those who are well do not need a physician 912 but the sick do i go and learn the meaning of the words i desire mercy not sacrifice i did not come to call the righteous but sinners so this is so when jesus said to the pharisees go and learn that means they know by heart most of the book of prophets he is referring to the book of prophet i hosea chapter 6 6 where in god spoke through prophet hosea i want mercy not sacrifice so israelites they were doing very rigorously all the sacrifices and burnt offering but having no mercy towards a sinner so in somehow we are also a little bit pharisees <laughs> sorry to say that little bit we are also pharisees we look a person be careful you have to inquire about that person hmm. what was his background come on okay sister okay father oh you, you must find out what is his history did jesus search the history of matthew no he said hey matthew come follow me why because Matthew's call is to be an apostle but he is now sitting in the tax collection office the lord looks the future not the past a tax collector but he was called to be a apostle what a great call but yet he is now so this is what in evangelization we have to look we have to look everyone through the eyes of jesus what is his call what is his call how can we utilize him for evangelization what is everybody has a role in evangelization everybody everybody in the morning i was sharing something which i want to repeat i i learn i learned the catena aurea that is a bible commentary from the church fathers so in that saint john chrysostom saint jerome saint augustine saint ambrose saint so many church fathers interpretation of the gospel is compiled that is something so in that saint jerome and saint john chrysostom was commenting on four gospel writers the four gospel writers matthew is an apostle and the last john is also an apostle whereas luke mark and luke are not apostles they are ordinary lay persons so saint jerome says 
God in his great compassion and love already kept a collegiality of the apostles with the lay people even in writing the gospel so that the call of lay people is so important in evangelization and eventually mark become the bishop and luke remained to be a ordinary person but a gentile he is the only gentile writer of the holy scripture of course timothy also may be there ah oh, no timothy is not written then paul has written <laughs> so he is a gentile but a doctor a painter a historian we have to understand in evangelization it is not only we but the people the the the, the ordinary lay people has such a great call to evangelize this is already seen in the four gospel writers both side two apostles two pillars but in the middle two laymen i am so greatly motivated by luke's commitment if without luke what would have been the new testament the luke's gospel the whole narration of uh uh incarnation mother mary the magnificat the benedictus and the childhood life of jesus and the emmaus story and the luke chapter 15 which is known as the gospel of gospels if you read only john luke chapter 15 and assimilate that mercy that is enough to understand the gospel sakeus and so many other very special parables only in the luke and the whole acts of apostle is written by luke okay i want to say we are not only evangelizers we are animators to make the others to evangelize we are animators to make the lay people to 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 be trained for evangelization the potentiality <laughs> i'm sorry i want to share another point now as bishop said more than 25 years back i have visited almost all dioceses of north india so many priests those days were very young i motivated them so many lay people okay and at that time i have preached a retreat to one of the biggest dioceses in latin diocese mangalore diocese of mangalore five days morning to evening bishop was also so in such big dioceses there are three batches of retreat one batch is a charismatic retreat other batch are conventional retreats so bishop chose to be in my batch <laughs> i was so he wanted to know what this layman is going to talk about who has not done any theological studies and at the end of the retreat he was giving the thanksgiving as well as the final holy mass but after the mass as a part of the thanksgiving and also to give some instruction to the uh, priest with the light of this retreat he said my brother priest 
we have seen five days this layman is preaching to us morning to evening and he has not done any theological studies but we all have learned theology and i found no error in any of his teaching now my question is bishop is asking my question is my dear brother priest can we not have one thomas paul in our parish <laughs> that was a eye opener for me in can we not have can we not trade and form one thomas paul in each parish this i am also echoing to you we have to evangelize by ourselves but that is not enough god has given us so many lay people you have to pray and the lord will show you who has the call for evangelization who has a specific call for evangelization and you have to find out them you have to ask the holy spirit how to form them how to make them to teach the church teachings and whatever is needed okay now coming to the mercy aspect little more which will be a very interesting point mercy is known as misericordia misericordia because in no other language even the word mercy karuna daya it is not giving the right meaning of what is mercy but the word misericordia may be misery is misery cordia cordia is the heart cardio so mercy is misericordia and another very good expression is mercy is rahamim rahamim a hebrew word for mercy is rahamim rahman rahamim rahami means do you know what is rahami anybody know rahami anybody know you raise your hand anybody know the meaning rahami okay so better to know rahami means mother's womb mother's womb a mother's womb a mother's womb the way a mother's womb care and love the 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 child in the womb that is misericordia that is rahami that mother's womb do not recognize whether this child is formed in what situation whether it is the child is conceived in a sinful situation that is not concerned the mother's womb with the water with the life giving life giving care is protecting this child i i understood this very good in evangelization we have to have such an attitude no matter whatever may be the sinfulness we are not to look at their sin we have to look at their call he is a child of god even some are born in a sinful way now you see i visited last days shishu bhavan of mother teresa there are two group of people first is lot of children little children who were left there because of the reasons you know 
and there is another group they are serving is unwed mothers you understand but they love them they care for them with the mercy of god okay it is only to understand how they are loving them we need such type of a compassion the word compassion means company in passion and particularly in the context of our north india or in the central india maharashtra where we are serving our poorest of the poor so many poor people and also so many sick people so here we have to have a heart of compassion now a bed of god is coming to me that is matthew chapter 14 matthew chapter 14 jesus came to a deserted place and there knowing that jesus is coming there people came from the shore and before he came the people reached there yeah 14 14 when he disembarked and saw the vast crowd his heart was moved with pity for them and he cured their sicknesses now the interpretation the church father is said none of them were believers they were not christians they were not baptized now a very important conviction he healed them all not because of their faith because of their because jesus was moved with compassion St John Chrysostom made a very good commentary about this here when god's compassion flows no need of faith <laughs> because that is greater than faith because these people now this is another interesting aspect of evangelization the public life of jesus public life of jesus none of them were christians so then john paul 2 in the apostolic letter sorry in the encyclical redemptor is missio i think it is paragraph 16 pope john paul to write in the public life jesus all activity was a prophecy about what is going to come after his death and resurrection so we should we should find out every event in the public life and recognize intrinsically why he did and how he did so this is one of that he saw such a multitude of people and he was moved with pity for them and he cured their sickness okay 
So now this much is enough as a preparation for the charisms. Charisms should not make us filled with pride. Charism must be used with compassion. Compassion. And when we have the compassion, <laughs> that is the most powerful flow of God's presence. God's presence. Already healing and miracle will start happening. I tell you some example. Now we have to learn more about the practical way how can we use these charisms? In the gospel, we heard Jesus said, heal the sick. Come on, everybody. What is our slogan? Raising both your hands. Heal the sick. Come on, louder. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Cleanse the leper. Cast out demons. Oh, I wanted you to stand up and say that so that you are a little bit awake. Come on, stand up. This must be your slogan. Come on, little jumping. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, cast out demons. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, cast out demons. Come on, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, cast out demons. Heal the sick, raise the dead. Cleanse the leper, cast out demons. Hallelujah. <laughs> Please sit down. You know, I tell you, in France, I was giving retreat to the French people. So, there in French, these words are much beautiful. I cannot say that now, I don't remember. And so, three days in the retreat, every day, every hour, I made them to say this. And then after one year, I was in the airport. Somebody who was in this retreat met me. And he came, hey, Thomas Paul, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, cast out demons. <laughs> in the airport, he's standing in front of me and jumping. So this must be our, our motivation. That word has such power. That is the word of Jesus empowering the apostles. So when you say Jesus has given us that authority, so it will happen. It will happen. In my life, even before I came to the renewal, where I have such a strong belief in the word of God. Thank God for my parents, or it is my call, probably. So one day, then later on I learned an expression like this, I am not a healer, but I am a believer. Say everybody, I am not a healer, but I am a believer. Everybody, I am not a healer, but I am a believer. So Mark chapter 16, the last word of Mark says, whoever believes, these signs will accompany. See, Mark chapter 16, 17, or 16, 16, 16. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Who are huh? These signs will accompany, verse 17. 17. Can you read it from, look in your own Bible? Underline it, color it. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new language. They will pick up serpents. 
with their hands and if they drink any deadly thing it will not harm them they will lay hand on the sick and they will recover so i took the last part i say i am a believer you agree you agree that you are a believer come on raise your both hands and say it so strongly yes i am a believer i love you jesus you have written here that if a believer they will lay hands over the sick and the sick will be healed jesus will you do this or not what is the answer why nobody is answering yes, yes. sometimes <laughs> i this are our layman's expression jesus you have written this and if you don't heal this please cut off this word from the bible <laughs> jesus love this type of expressions he says yeah good come act well done my son that should be your spirit you said it so it should happen not because of my power i am not a healer i am a believer i believe in you i am baptized i am confirmed i am a daily communicant i believe in your magnanimity i believe in your supernatural power you live in me and you said it if you lay hands over the sick the sick will be healed this is the first way you have to simply believe this word and you have to practice practice so i don't know it so happened in my home there was a aunt whose on her foot there was a very deep wound which was swelling with pus it was so painful for her so i told her andy shall i lay my hand on this foot and pray for you hmm you are praying for me you are a small man some priest or somebody should pray okay but jesus said a believer if a believer has this function if he lay hands over the sick the sick will be healed i am a believer hmm <laughs> now she has she has no answer she says okay why not we can try if nothing happens no it will happen <laughs> he said it will happen see our 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 difficulty is you are a ordinary man or oh, these gifts are working only big big retreat preachers and big big people big big you are a ordinary man how can this happen to you so i said i am a believer so she said we can try i said no i am going to do it and jesus is going to heal you oh okay okay i believe i believe <laughs> and i tell you i have such a confidence this word what jesus said he is responsible to fulfill it <laughs> and i laid my hand over that wound and said jesus i am a believer you said a believer will have this sign they will lay hands over the sick and the sick will be healed so i believe that you will do it in the name of jesus be healed somehow i got that habit of praying three times <laughs> it happened in me like that i prayed three times 
Then I wanted to see the miracle, but nothing happened. Uh, but then I said, uh, Andy, when we take medicine, we have to take two, three times. So if nothing happened, we have to pray again. Don't worry. Then uh, it was by evening. In the night, I came and looked. Nothing happened. But I did not... Uh, I, I had a tendency to demotivate, but I pushed to myself. No, 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 no. The Lord has said it, so it will happen. <laughs> I did not allow myself to be, to be down. I said, the Lord said it. He did not say immediately, he may do it. Or he is already in the process. It is healing, but I am not able to see that now. Okay. And early in the morning, as soon as I got up, first thing I was running and looking, and the wonder happened. That is completely healed. <laughs> I was so excited and jumpy. The emotion, the joy, the power, I realized, yes, I am a Christian. Hallelujah. I am a believer. I am a believer. So this is how it happened in my life. And thereafter, thereafter when I came into renewal, I was running after sick people. <laughs> I was running after sick people. And using this power, quoting this word, and sometimes I used to spread some leaflets, a small booklet with uh, some of the scripture point what Jesus said. So those days it was available by Matthew Naik and Brambil, a small booklet called Reshaka Sandesh, Message of Salvation, Ek Rupiah. So in Bombay there was a convention, so they are selling one rupees, one rupees, Reshaka Sandesh, Ek Rupiah, Ek Rupiah, ah, the love, ek, hundred, give me hundred. Even the one who was selling could not believe, what will you do with the hundred? I said, give me that. This is the money. And everybody is looking at me. What is he going to do? My idea is to take it to North India and give to the people. <laughs> so from Bombay, I carried, when I traveled to North India, this was in, in, in Katni, near Jabalpur. So I was instrumental for constructing of a cement plant in Katni. So there I had to go. So on the way, I do evangelization. So when I went there, I take a bicycle with a hat. I go around in the villages. Red Shaka Sandesh. I go to every home. Now one place, I felt, what should I do? How should I start my, my uh, <laughs> evangelization? How should I introduce myself? So Jesus said, you ask a glass of water. Ah, that is how I did. I went to Samaritan woman. I, to start the topic, I said, give me a drink. <laughs> he did not drink any drink there, correct? Did he drink anything? He says, I did not drink anything there, but I wanted to start a dialogue with her. <laughs> now these houses of Hindus the Hindu, they are so loving when we ask a glass of water. Hmm? It is their culture. They say, yes, yes, please sit down. We just now bring. Yeah, yeah, please sit down. We'll give you. So when somebody went inside to drink, bring that water, another man, the man of the house was asking me, wise up, where are you coming from? My Bombay si aya. Oh, Bombay si aya. What is your name? My name is Thomas Paul. Oh, you are a Christian? Yes. Can you speak something about Christ, Christ to me? <laughs> Hallelujah. 
so this is another teaching the holy spirit go ahead of us jesus go ahead of us he says i am your shepherd you are my sheep i go ahead this man is asking can you say something about that jesus christ my dan kula i began to speak meanwhile they brought the water i drank and i began to speak about jesus christ my first saying is always jesus christ is not a private property of christians alone when jesus came there were no christians when jesus died there were no christian he came to take away the sin of the whole humanity he gives blessing to the whole humanity use the word blessing he bless the whole humanity in his first talk this is my recent edition from john uh, from pope francis pope francis in abu dhabi with a big audience about a lack of audience pope francis said jesus first proclamation was this blessed are you he did not say you will be blessed very interesting teaching i was amazed how pope francis bring such interesting points from one word he said blessed are you he did not say you will be blessed he said you are already blessed that is our attitude and as i was speaking about the blessing of jesus to everyone it is available suddenly i could hear a cry from inside <laughs> a child is crying that is actually disturbing us so this man said please uh, excuse me sir that is our child that child is very sick some stomach problem we took to many doctors but no cure we don't know what to do Mm. Hallelujah. Now I know why the Lord has brought me here. So I said, don't worry. If you believe that Jesus is Lord and God, I can pray for this child and the child will be healed. Huh? Really? Yes, Jesus is God. he is in me and he is also in you he is in the whole humanity okay okay then i bring the child then he went and the mother and the brought the child <laughs> his child is so violently cry now i told the lord lord now you have to do something now see if you don't do it take away the word from this bible this is my deal so that i have to make sure that he is going to do this is a loving deal to make my own faith more strong i said lord i believe you brought me here for this family to heal this family to bring faith for this family i believe lord what you said i am a believer you said believers have this sign they will lay hands on the sick and the sick will be healed i prayed and i get a notion from the lord that is the speaking i already spoke with the lord he said yes i will do it ah, hallelujah now this child is he 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 cry i said now you believe Jesus is God. He don't show any partiality whether Hindu or Muslim or Christian. He is God of all. Do you believe that? Yes. And he is not come he is not a private property of Christians. He came for the whole humanity. Yes. Now in the name of Jesus Jesus said in my name you lay hands over the sick the sick will be healed I believe that and you believe that 
therefore i pray i just as soon as i touch the child he he suddenly the cry stopped and a power i could feel the power is flowing even they could feel the power is flowing suddenly a very visible change in the face of the child the child is smiling 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 <laughs> the cry turned to smile i began to pray oh lord thank you thank you thank you jesus thank you for healing thank you for healing you said it and you did it yes you said it and you did it thank you jesus in the name of jesus all blood vessel tissues bones and muscles come back to normal healthy condition and be healed three times i prayed now at that time my faith was not so much like i have now i had a doubt suppose after this some time if again the child become sick <laughs> these are our beginners problem so i told them see normally when we take any medicine you need to take 2 3 days for a complete healing so i will come again tomorrow and once again i pray <laughs> i said it they said all right okay okay please come tomorrow also two reason my first reason is i don't want this child to become again sick and they should make a false propaganda that this man came and prayed nothing happened i want to make a sure victory third second thing it was a god's plan it was a god's plan now you know what happened next day when i came there were about 50 people all sick people he has gathered because this healing become a news in that village a country village and the whole village is so many are sick they came there see they don't have money they have no way to go to a good hospital even if they have to go to a hospital these days the doctors are i am sorry so much money is okay and i had to pray for everyone and then <laughs> actually it happened so suddenly i did not tell the parish priest that i go to this village but after this i went to the parish father i said see father i had asked two days in this village and these are all up. what you went there and they did not persecute you no they were very welcoming who oh, we are so afraid to go there they were so terrible for us but i never felt like that they are all now believing guys eh? then take me i also want to come then next day we all together went there then we invited to the church then slowly slowly they all received baptism and i tell you after 10 years when i visited jabalpur to give a retreat to the priest the bishop was introducing me <laughs> because when i was doing all these things going around in villages and doing all these things many people said oh he is a something wrong with this man you know he is like that so the bishop was telling 10 years back this thomas paul was with us here going around in evangelizing some of our people told he is crazy but that is the one who is now come to preach retreat to the presbytery so in this contest i wanted to visit that parish to meet these people <laughs> hallelujah and the little children all become very big boys and girls and they everybody took me on their shoulder putting garlands and making a procession with me because the faith they received through me like that so our simple faith concrete faith you must take 
every event of the healing in the gospel. Now, another event is Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15, that woman, the Canaanite woman, Jesus eventually told her that this woman said, even the dogs lives by the crumbs of the mattress table. You know the hood. And that moment Jesus said, woman, your faith is great. Your faith is great. Whatever you ask will be given to you. This is a very important point. Jesus said, John chapter 15, 20, 28. Then Jesus said to her in reply, Oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. You know, whatever you wish will be done to you. You see this type of great promises. Now, what was so special about this woman's faith? So, we have to understand a little bit on the commentary of these passages from the, from the Bible scholars or the church fathers. The church fathers go into more deep. The church fathers say, this woman recognized Jesus, recognized Jesus as See the woman's first salutation. The woman's first salutation to Jesus. And behold, a Canaanite woman of the district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. That's the point. How this Canaanite woman, who is not a Jew, who said, Lord, Son of David. Now here, how they got such a faith? So that faith, now Jesus said, no, I have come for the lost sheep of all that thing. But she never lived. She never left. She continued. Perseverance. She, she continued. And she, so first he said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage. Did him homage. Homage means adoration. To whom we give homage? We give homage only when we know he is God. He is God. So this woman realized he is not simply a carpenter's son. He is not simply a prophet. He is not only son of David. He is God. So he gave him homage. She gave him homage. Saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw to the dogs. She said, please, Lord, even the dogs eat the scrums that fall from the table of pastors. Now the church father says, Jesus knew her heart. Then why Jesus did all these things? Jesus says, all these things is a scenario, a workshop to teach his own people and to teach the Pharisees. These are all, Jesus is the one who gave the faith to this woman. Jesus is the one who pushed her to come behind her. Jesus is the one who gave her the faith, he is son of David. Jesus is the one who gave faith to her to worship him. And to make a scene there in order to make a teaching 